don't see nobody else but us giving a damn. Oh, oh, so let me know what you gonna do. If you wanna build, I'm bobbing. If not, suck up, kick it in the lobby. I got a lot to do. Ooh, I'm gonna watch what you gonna do. See, if you wanna build, I'm bobbing. If not, then chuck a deuce. You throwing off the vibe. The NFL on EA Sports brings us to North Carolina and Bank of America Stadium here in Charlotte. Today we've got an NFC matchup on tap as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Carolina Panthers. Here's the kicker, Jake Elliott, ready to get this one started. And off we go from uptown Charlotte. Oh, and this is going to wind up a safety. So how's that for an interesting way to start this ball game? First drive of the game and you go backwards all the way into your own end zone? Yes, it kind of makes you wonder what else we might have in store here in this one. This is taken at the 15. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 27. Go, go. They'll start on the ground. It's Rashad Penny, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz it? Do I need pressure? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? They put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. Look at the big fella go. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And a big 32-yard play on third. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find the ball. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense, and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Play action. Here's Hurts. Nothing open downfield. He keeps it himself for 11 and a first down. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Go, go. 
But first down, Hurts. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Watkins, the intended receiver, but it'll be second and goal. Second and goal. Hurt sets up to throw it. That is caught at the seven-yard line. That catch good for eight, but still, it's third and goal now. Simple drag route here, lined up out left and tried to work his way back across the field. You probably saw me twitch there, partner, because I think he wanted the ball a little bit sooner. By the time he looked it in, defender was right on him. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. We well, hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost start in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle the well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go and make the tackle right away. Oh, they'll run the option right. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Jalen Hurts. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Eagles' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Defensively, they told us that the top priority was defending option plays this week, but here on the very first drive, the defense broke down a bit. It certainly did, and it's really not a surprise because defending option football is difficult. You have to think too much. Most of the time, you just react to what you see and you play fast. Here, you're reacting, you're processing. Do I have the back? Do I have the quarterback? Who do I take? Do I take on a blocker? And next thing you know, he's in the end zone. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes this a nine-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They trail now 9-0. The opening safety followed by the touchdown a moment ago. So an early hole to dig out of as the drive starts first and 10. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. 22 yards on the catch and run. A first down. So he has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second down, back to Sanders. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. They'll come up now, third and three. That's a gain of three. Young to throw it. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. So the penalty rightfully declined. They'll keep the yardage on the completion. Still some disagreement by the defense, though, because he thought that was just good, strong coverage, and the contact's going both ways, so why is there a flag? In the end, though, doesn't matter. Still a completed pass. Young going to get this complete. Meanwhile, the Sanders, a lot of effort there for just a three-yard gain, and now second down. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. The linebackers nowadays... They run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. On the set. Ball on the 39. Here's second down and seven. Set, go. 
They go back to the ground with Sanders. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Young on third down. And he's taken down inside the 30. Now a first down throw for Young. That's going to be caught. It's Shimon. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Sanders is into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. So Connor was a passing game that drove him down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took him home. And they trust their offensive line as well, because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. Eddie Pinheiro now for the extra point. And they're back within a couple at 9-7 now. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they haven't had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. This one complete down the field to Goddard. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Another first down there as this one goes for 25. Good job there of getting his tight end involved because he lines up on the right side of the formation, just works his way across the field. I really like how they were in sync on that one. He spotted the open gap in the zone, and his quarterback found him, and they get a first down. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Not the first down play they wanted by him stretch of the imagination an absolutely huge loss on the sack now this one from about two counties over after the sack they come up on a second and very long here's Hurts to throw Smith, 38 yards, as his guys are able to extend their lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post route? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. Uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Elliott Good with a PAT, and that makes this a nine-point game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. The Panthers take over first and 10 at their own 13-yard line. On the double. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. Good drive last time. Really effective passing the football. Do you maybe mix 
mix it up, now go to the ground game and surprise the defense a little bit? I would anticipate the defense making some changes, but I wouldn't necessarily just absolutely go in the opposite direction. They're doing so well throwing the ball. Yeah, why? Well, I wouldn't change it up until they showed me a reason to do so. On third down, they'll run it with Sanders. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken out the 27. Young looks to throw on first down. And his throw is incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. He's got a man complete and finally brought down at the 31 yard line. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Ready. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Now Young. That's a quick slant. He finds Adam Thielen. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the 8-yard line. They'll run with Sanders. And he'll be stopped just outside the 5 at the 6. That gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. That's good power football on first and goal. A lot of teams will throw from there, but that's a nice job to chew up a few more yards and get yourself closer to the goal line. Touchdown! Aiden Hurst from six yards away. And the Panthers have got it back to within a score. For good reason, quarterbacks want to get the ball to the perimeter to their wide receivers for big plays. But in this situation, it felt like, based on coverage, he knew that he wanted his tight end to have the football, and for good reason. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And the lead is down to two. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. Here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. No, no, no. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead before intermission. And when you talk about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of time for that. The fallback is to get three. But in your mind, you put six on the board right before the half. That's a heck of a dagger and great momentum to carry into the locker room. Oh, and now some trickery. They fake the spike. Flushed out right. And this drive is almost over before it began thanks to a great defensive effort. Sack on first down, followed by an incompletion. One more good rep, and they get off the field. They'd like to avoid punting from their own end zone so they could use something here on third down. Hurts sliding out of the pocket on the run. He'll let this go deep right side. And that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime, bro. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. That's returnable now for Smith. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. Oh, 
Grill, 52. Black Ultra. Red Cycle. The first down throw for Young. And that's incomplete. Clock stops with 10 seconds left. On any pass in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested, and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops. Young's incompletion on first down leads to a second and 10. Ready? Now he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. The safety, Terrell Edmonds, picks it. And the Eagles are going to take over once again at their own 37-yard line. The rookie was trying to push it downfield, but the safety bit him. And he'll learn that you have to hold the safety. And you do that with your head movement, your eyes, sometimes your shoulders. Hold the safety so that you can get back to the throw that you really want to make. He got so excited thinking his guy was open that he made it easy for the defensive back to go get the football. They'll throw now on the final play. Flush to his right. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw for the pressure. Maybe that was for the best, as that brings us to the end of this first half of play. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman, ready with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. So the Eagles with the lead, and they're going to get this football first as the third quarter gets underway. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Second and ten. On the carry, here's Smith. Oh, that is well read on the back side. And he'll be met well behind the line of scrimmage. Third down just got a lot tougher. That will officially go as a loss of seven. Hurts. Going deep here for Watkins. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Here's Smith to return it. We'll call that a 49-yard punt, but a net of just 39 following the 10-yard return. And it will be the Panthers' ball, first and 10. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out, and now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense him saying, okay, the first half is theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced the punt. Now let's go down the field and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. Sanders on first down, not finding much of anything there as he might have gotten back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. 
Third quarter of a two-point game. A good one so far. Here's second and ten. Now here's Young. That is caught by Thielen. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the ten to the seven. On first and ten, it's Sanders. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. He'll get two out of that run, and it's going to bring up a second and goal. Not a whole lot there on first and goal, and that's what you're looking for defensively. You'll certainly live with giving up just a yard or two in this situation. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Thielen going to go in motion right. Now a second down throw for Young. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. D.J. Chark from six yards away. And the Panthers have taken the lead here in this third quarter. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes you throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This fielded right at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs. Because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. They set up the screen to Penny. The first down screen pass, good for five. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And this one nearly intercepted. Boy, that would have been a great time for their first pick. But instead, it's third down. But when the running game's not working sometimes, you just got to take a few more chances down the field. That's a good effort, but it winds up incomplete. From the gun, it's Hurts. That is caught. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 39. And they'll get 14 yards out of it and a fresh set of downs. That's a play that'll likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. Man open left side is Brown. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and ten here. Hurts throw here, take it in as he's able to find Goddard. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. On second down, here's the option. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts, a 16-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles have retaken a third-quarter lead. 
Well, Charles, he's already proven that he's not afraid to tuck that football down on the option, and he's into the end zone for the second time in the game. And that's exactly what you need from your quarterback, the ability to run the ball fearlessly. And, in fact, many quarterbacks will tell you running the football doesn't scare them. Standing in the pocket and taking blindside hits, that's what Taylor does. And he'll get into the end zone to push the lead up to a field goal. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Here we go. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing yeah. that football. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. It's a second down run with Sanders. And not much doing there. Maybe a yard up to the 23. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ready, this offense on third down today, a perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This is third and nine. Able to find the open there. That's complete. And they work this well upfield. And that's a three for one. Hurry back to the line now. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the field. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and ten. As they've got things rolling on this drive. Oh, and a heck of an effort there as he made the diamond catch. Chart the motion man right. It's Young off play action. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. But defensively on the previous play, they gave up a pretty good chunk of yardage, but right there, they got a good portion of it right back. And if we just flip it around from the offensive perspective, took a nice step forward. And how about a couple of leaps backwards after that play? They've got to figure out a big call coming up here to try and gain that yardage back. And Young's throw there incomplete. And partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, Ready, that incompletion right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big third down play in order to pick up the yardage needed. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. They'll find Thielen working in the middle. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. One score down, here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. They'll run with Sanders up the middle. And he will take it across for a Panthers touchdown. Miles Sanders with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Panthers answer back with a touchdown of their own to take a fourth quarter lead. 
this is a time of game where offensive lines can really dictate a team's fortunes. It's been a tough battle. They've been out there for a long time. But this was a question of who can wear down who. And that's excellent work to put a long drive together and finish it with a touchdown run to take the lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. This taken in at the goal line. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And they will be looking to answer the touchdown. Their defense just surrendered. Still a good chunk of time remaining here in the fourth quarter and a chance to regain the lead in a tight one. Going deep here for Watkins. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. I like how he hung in there and went through his progressions, but eventually his internal clock went off and told him it was time to make a run for it. And he ends up sliding down with a solid gain. Now throwing on third down, but he can't connect. When you see those RPOs run, you need the first man to attack and be a disruptor. And on that play, he closed down fast and helped not get away. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Quez Watkins, 51 yards. And the Eagles use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. He's got it, and this is indeed up to a three-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. This is first and ten. First down, Young. He's got his big tight end. That's Hurst. And he's got a first down there after a game of about 12. As the clock will stop right now for the two-minute warning. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Ready, ready. Now a first down throw for Young. Able to connect with Chark. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across the field. Here's first down. Young. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. Limited 
of time left on the clock after that incompletion. So I think both sides are going to savor every second to prepare before the next snap. Because once the ball's in motion, it may be a non-stop push to finish this drive off. Everyone better be on the same pitch. Oh, and that's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. Picked off by Reed Blankenship. And the Eagles have just about sewn up this football game. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense bait a rookie, pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters. And in this case, it paid off well. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and handling a little bit of power. And you find a way to pick up first downs. Five points of contact necessary at this stage is a run first down. When this offense gathers to watch the tape, they're going to like a lot of what they saw. They put up big numbers, but they might fast forward through that last play. Oh, there won't be any fast forwarding, partner. I've sat in those sessions before. You end up spending more time on the bad plays than you do on the good ones. It's just the nature of coaches. But I know sitting in that room, when you've had a big game, the night that they've had, you don't want to hear that. You just want to focus on the good stuff. So nothing there that time. And maybe you need to look to the O-line. They weren't able to create any space. No, they weren't. And you know as well as I do, as many offensive line coaches we've ever met, I think that'll be addressed loudly when those guys get to the sideline. And they're usually loud and big. <laughs> Here's Hurts to throw. It's caught. Smith. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Eagles, they can run it out from here. So it's a victory here for the Philadelphia Eagles. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them 